Sparkle Squad and welcome back to my channel. I am Jessica Sparkles and today I am going to do a color and chat out of Worlds Within Worlds by Kirby Rosanis. I started a picture last night so I thought I would go ahead and just kind of do this on camera for you guys today and just kind of it'll be a whip because you know his pages take a long time. So I was asked to show how I use the Artisa watercolor pencils. So I have those here. I'll just show you those in this case. Isn't this case gorgeous? It's like so pretty. I love, love this holographic case. So here are these beauties. I believe I have the 120 set. I believe that's what these are, the 120 set. So there they are, lots of beautiful, beautiful colors. I've really, really, really enjoyed these pencils lately, so I've been using them a lot. So the page that I started, I've got my page protector back here, is this one right here, this uh, unicorn with the cages and lots of greenery. So you can see I started some of the greenery last night. <clears throat> so if you are new here welcome thank you for joining the sparkle squad i have had an increase in um subscribers the past couple of days and i am so thankful for you guys so welcome thank you for being here i do have three doggies they're currently all outside right now but i do have the windows open because it is a beautiful morning and you might hear them bark, dogs bark, and mine like to bark a lot. <laughs> so they bark if, if the wind blows too hard or something. So you might hear them. Um, you might hear traffic go down the road and what have you, maybe birds chirping, who knows. But anyway, so I am using my Arteza watercolor pencils. I have this water brush that come with the Art and Fly watercolors uh, pan set. So I really like this brush. I don't know if this is Art and Fly itself brush, but I, this is one of the only watercolor or water brushes that I actually like. So I use that one a lot. And then I just have a piece of paper towel here that I just dab off my brush so it doesn't get stay or it's not too wet. So <clears throat> like I said, this will be a color and chat, but it'll also be informative. I'm, no, um, I'm just going to show you how I use the watercolor pencils. I'm probably doing it wrong or not the proper way, but it's the way that I do it and I like the results that I get. So I'm going to get a sip of my pomegranate cherry Mountain Dew because that is my drink of choice this week. Mm, it's delicious. It's the Christmas Mountain Dew, but I am drinking out of my Hello Kitty cup. So that's my cup of the day. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started. So how is everyone doing? I hope you are doing very well. I am doing really good actually. Really, really good. Um, my rings are turned and I hate when they turn. So let me zoom in Oop, a little bit so we can see what we're doing this is very tiny detail if you like Kirby books you know how detailed they can get so just to make sure I'm in frame all right so I'm just taking a dark green and a lighter green and there's lots of greens to choose from and we'll do this little pot right here this little guy right there and all I do is just scribble in some color. Now Kirby puts lines in, so I just kind of follow them lines as a guide where I want the dark. And I'm not taking, like I'm not being real careful or anything, just scribbling it in here and there. And then like with this, let me actually sharpen this. I use the Tigal Multi Sharpener and I always use it on the setting three because that's the point that I like and I just really like the sharpener. So I'm just gonna give it a couple of turns and it gives me a nice little point. So I'm just gonna color the vine part all in solid like that. And then just like scribble a little bit of that 
dark onto each leaf. And then I just go in with the lighter green and just color over the rest of it. Easy peasy live and squeezy. My page protector back there. And I'm just scribbling. I'm not even bothering like making sure it's completely colored in. I'm just scribbling that color in. So if you think, oh, that looks like a hot mess, Jess, don't worry, because <laughs> we will take our water brush and I just dab it off. And I'll also kind of do this so I can see just how wet the brush is, like on my hand. And it's like that the perfect wetness is not too wet and it's not dry. And then I just go from light and dab it down on into the dark and just kind of mix the color all together. And just, and these pencils are really, really nice. I really like the Arteza watercolor pencils. I bought these, when did I buy these? Um, back in the summer. And it took me a bit to decide that uh, I wanted to use them because I was a little bit intimidated, never really used watercolor pencil. But then I was like, how much different can it really be from using the ink tints? And I love my ink tints. So, uh, really like, uh, the, the biggest difference in the ink tints in these is that you can go around and move this color after it dries. Ink tints is more permanent. So once you add water to your ink tints, you can't go back and um, move the color around. <clears throat> but other than that, they melt and they're just, see, so pretty. And it doesn't take but a second to get I did all these probably last night. I would say it maybe took me 10 minutes to do all this. So it goes very, very quickly and it looks really good. And of course you can always just use a base color. Like let's say you just use the light green and just color all the green just to flat that and then use the water. And you can always go back over with your uh, regular colored pencils and add in shadow and all of that afterwards. But I kind of like just doing it all in one whack because I, I'm getting to where I don't like to take a gajillion days to do a page anymore. I lose interest, I guess you could say, and then they become a whip and they never get done. So, yeah, I know. <clears throat> Ow. So I'm just doing uh, all of the pots. I think that was the last pot actually. And I might change greens for like these leaves here and down in here, I'll definitely change some greens. So we got a little variation going. But I think I'll do this one, this little section right there. Oh, making sure you can see this, uh, the greens that I'm using. So how many of you have this book? Have you colored in it yet? This first time I've even uh, pulled it out to color in. I've looked through it many times, but kind of did the whole, eh, not sure if I want to color or not in that. So I finally decided, you know what, let's just do it. Let's just color in it. And I thought, well, I'd show you guys how I used these watercolor pencils. Somebody did ask me. I am very super, super excited for my color along and for everybody that's joining in. I appreciate all of you so, so much. Um, and all of you that's joined my coloring group on Facebook and that's uh, followed me on Instagram. I am so excited to have all of you with me and a part of this color along for the upcoming sparkly season. I like Christmas because it is very sparkly. And, well, you know, my name is Jessica Sparkles after all. self-named Jessica Sparkles. If you if you know me, you know my name is my last name isn't actually Sparkles, but how cool would that be if it was? I wonder if I can legally change it to that. <laughs> Probably, but I don't think my husband would appreciate me changing my name to Sparkles. Just look how they melt. I love these pencils. I know a lot of people uh, have worked with Arteza and got stuff sent to them. And I just want you to know that I did not get these sent to me. So, and I'm not saying these people didn't give their honest review on stuff that was sent to. 
but um, I actually spent money, pretty good bucks on these. At the time, I think they were like $80. I think they're a little bit, they, last I checked, I think they were, um, I wanna say they had went down a little bit in price, like that they were on sale. I'm not sure at the moment, but. So yeah, um, I'm gonna give my complete honest opinion about them because if I didn't like them and I had spent that kind of money on them, I'd be upset, you know? But I really do like them. They're really nice. I get the hype. I get the hype now. So love these pencils. Now it makes me want to try more Arteza products. <clears throat> so I uh, found out yesterday that Camellia Angel Cova come out with the 50 Winter Miniatures book and coloring book. And I'm like, okay, obviously I'm going to need that one. So that one's in my wish list because love her books. I just love them so much. They're so cute. Okay, so now you kind of get the gist of how that's going. And you see how that looks? It's so pretty, isn't it? How they just, the colors are stunning. So let's work on some of these trees. I think I'm going to do these um, different, like a different green. You might hear my chair squeak a bit. I think I'm going to pull maybe jade green. That's a good dark. And mm -mm -mm -mm. let's do apple. Apple and jade. Jade might be a little too dark, but that's okay. And I don't like the square, like how they come sharpened, like square-ish. I don't know if you can see that, but I don't like that. So I always just put a little point on them. I'm going to put these two colors. Oh, and the two colors I was using was fern green and absinthe green in case you were wondering okay now I use pencil grippies on my pencils because I like them and they save my fingies they just feel good to color with I almost can't use a pencil without a pencil grip Okay, now I also start with the dark pencils when I do the watercolor. I don't know why. You can do light first if you want, but I just have always, I like to go dark to light with watercolor pencils. With regular pencils, I do light to dark, so it's really just, you know, your preference. With water mediums, I usually go dark to light. Let's see how this one's going to turn out. Like I said, I'm just throwing color in. I'm not uh, really filling the whole spot in. Just, now when I wet it, I usually do the light down into the dark and then just kind of rub it all together. So you get just a variation of color. Hopefully you can see how that's going now remember with uh, your water mediums you don't want to oversaturate the area because that's what makes the color go through is the water it's not the pencil it's the water so you don't want there to be as you can see there's I don't know if you can see I'll pull this over there's nothing going through on this side so you want to use just a little skosh of water not very much just a little and that's why I constantly dab my um, water brush or even a paintbrush if you're using a paintbrush off on the napkin. That way it just keeps it from getting super wet. I'm gonna get a sip of my drink. Oh, so good, so good. Make sure I'm still in frame here. It's hard to do. I am really hoping that eventually one of these days I can get a vlogging camera to do this stuff with instead of my phone. That way I got the little flip, uh, you know, the little flip doohickey mabob <laughs> um, to see what I'm doing without having to stand up and look on top of the phone and all of that. I mean, I've been using my phone um, and different phones because I've got, you know, different phones through the years since I started my YouTube and it's it works it really does work but I would like 
to become a little bit more professional because I plan on doing a little bit more different types of videos and what have you. So I'm just kind of really looking in, but they're so expensive. Uh, the cameras that I see most vloggers and stuff use, I did check price on them and they're like $700. I was like, oh lordy. <laughs> um, I, mm, that's a lot of money. I'd really like one, really, truly, and honestly, but there's no way that I can do that myself. There's just absolutely no way even saving that kind of money because I have my car payment and everything. There's absolutely no way I can afford a $700 camera. And that's on the cheap end. Uh, the nicer ones that's on the cheap end. And I was like, oh my. <laughs> um, not sure... And I've tried the super cheap digital cameras and stuff to film with. They don't, they don't work. They're awful. They are really pixelated when you zoom in. They're not smooth. They're just, they're not good for uh, recording videos. They are for obviously taking pictures. Um, so vlogging cameras are more set up for video recording, which is what I want. But yeah, they're too expensive. That hurt my heart to see how much that was. I was like, oh my, I don't think so. I don't have that kind of money to be spending willy-nilly. So I've got to start getting Christmas too. That's going to be here really fast. How many of you have done your Christmas shopping? Have you even thought about it yet? I've thought about it. I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> um, some things is going to be ordered online, so I'm going to order... Actually, I'm going to order something uh, Friday, tomorrow. Today's Thursday. For my brother. So, I've got it's a custom thing. So, I've got to get it ordered pretty quick. So, it'll be here in time. <clears throat> See how that looks? I like it. And it all kind of, it just, it, it goes. I love it. I love how easy it is to do this. Let's see, I want all these little like puffy like trees. So we're gonna slide the book over this way. And I'm out of room, so hopefully. Oh yeah, we got plenty of room right here. You can see me do these over here. I need a bigger desk too. I just need a massive desk. <laughs> so I have all the room. Uh, in the world, but you know, I make do with what I got because honestly, I've been making do and I think my videos are pretty decent if I do say so myself. My nose is whistling. I hate when my nose whistles. And I'm just going to put some of that dark down in between these leaves here. And like I said, all you got to do the scribble color because you're going to push it around with your water so you don't have to completely color everything in and then just give it a good a good brush in so I hope this helps if you've been wondering about how to use watercolor pencils this is how like I said this probably isn't the most professional way to do it but it's the way that I do it and it works and um, I'm going to say there is no wrong or, white, hmm, hmm, hmm. wrong or right way to color. Do it how you want to do it, how you like to do it. What's easiest for you? What works for you? So there is no wrong or right, right, why can't I say that? Wrong or right way to use uh, your supplies. Stupid whistly nose. And see, boom, done. <laughs> so easy. I'm gonna zoom back just a tad because we have like these little bushes and stuff down here. And if I'm zoomed in, I can't push the book up no further because my tripod and everything's right up there. So that's as far as it goes. I can move that. But yeah, my lights over here. I'll push it up just a smidgen. But I want to get all these little puffy bushes and tree bits done. 
And when these are dry, you can always go back and add more color of whatever color you want if you think it needs it. So as you can see, I'm just scribbling the color. I'm not really... paying too much attention to what's going on, just scribbling that color in. I mean, I'm paying a little bit of attention. I'm not just going psycho here, but <laughs> you know, I'm not uh, being super careful, I guess is what I'm trying to say. For the most part, I just follow where Kirby puts his little hash marks in. And then some things I might add just a little here and there where I want it to go. So what has been going on with me, you ask? Not a whole lot. Um, just kind of hanging out at home, been coloring, been diamond painting. Of course, playing my games because I'm a gamer. Y'all know that. Or if you don't, you're new here, I'm a gamer. Um, I play Xbox, been playing Call of Duty. Um, I've got the Nintendo Switch. So I play Mario, Super Mario Maker, I've got that. I've got um, Animal Crossing, which I love. I have Super Mario Odyssey. I have um, Zelda Breath of the Wild, but that's my husband's game. I don't, I'm not a big Zelda fan, but he likes that game. So what else do we have? Donkey Kong. We've got Donkey Kong. That's fun. Okay. So yeah, I play, I play video games through the day as well when I'm not coloring and diamond painting. You probably hear the dogs bark because there's a truck coming down the road. You'd think they'd be used to um, vehicles by now, but <laughs> they just, they bark at them all the time. So what are you guys asking Santa for for Christmas this year? What's something that you really hope you get? Anything in particular? I like everything, so I can't really say that there's anything in particular that I want because I want all the things. I've always said that I'm the most easiest person to buy for because I like everything. You can't go wrong with anything for me. So <laughs> I I really do just like just about everything. Uh, I am very easy to buy for. Some people, you know, they're really hard. Like my husband is actually super hard to buy for. I never know what to get him for birthdays, Christmas, anniversary. I just don't know. He's difficult he never says he wants anything and that's the biggest problem and if you ask him well i don't know i'm like oh my god tell me because i don't know what to get you i tell him every year if you don't tell me what you want i'm gonna give you underwear or something and he just giggles at me but i'm like well that ain't happened yet but <laughs> one of these years he's just gonna get undies because i'm like husband andy darling love tell me anything you want i don't care what it is anything it can be anything just tell me give me an idea something something to work with i don't know if that's just a man thing i have no idea but it's like <laughs> i know what he likes but he never really says he likes anything a whole lot and he never says that he doesn't like it so i'm just kind of never know i never really know but when I do get him stuff, it, it, he likes it. So I guess I'd do pretty good. But I already have a good... He doesn't watch my video, so I can tell you what I'm getting him. Um, I already have one of his presents here at the house. Um, I got him his favorite cologne, which is the Michael Jordan cologne. I got him a set of that. I'm going to get him a nice watch. That is one thing he's been looking at is a really nice wristwatch. So he showed me one that he liked this the other day. So I think I'm going to get that for him. And I'm going to get him this, um, it's like a 
it looks like a drill. <laughs> That's the only way that I can describe it is it looks like a drill and it's like a muscle foot massager or thingy my bob. His feet always hurt him really bad. He works on concrete uh, 12 hours a day, 10 hours a day, 10 to 12 hours a day and his feet, they really hurt him a lot. He's been working on his feet since he was like 15 years old. So his footsies are broken down and he has some pain in his feet. And I thought that'd be really nice for him. Okay, so there's that bush section there. So those are the three things I'm going to get him, I think. I've already seen them. They're not too badly priced. So there we go. I want to do this cage and I want to do it gold. I want it to be gold. But I'm not going to color it with these. I think I'm going to use either my Fine Tech watercolors, which are right here. I love these. These are pearlescent um, watercolors. And you can see I've used this is my favorite gold. I've used the crap out of it. <laughs> so this is probably the color that I am going to do this cage. Either that or I'm going to use my gold Posca. I could use my gold Posca pen to do this as well. There's a lot of little fiddly bits down here on the cage. But I could do gold in here and then I kind of want this back part to be kind of like black to make that gold pop. So what I was thinking, I do have my gold Posca and I do have, oh, I have a silver and a white and where's my black one? Well, there's a brand new black one, but I thought I had one already open. This is probably it. Yeah, here it is. That's my extra. So I was thinking maybe that, like maybe not these two, but use the gold to do the cage and then the black to do these fiddly bits down in here. I'm thinking that's what I might do. Yeah, I think I'll do that instead of my Fine Tech Pearlescence. So, I love Poscas. Let me get a, a test paper here. Just use this. So, you wanna shake up your Posca. I haven't used this in a long time, so I'm gonna shake it really good. And then, I'm gonna press it down on this. Okay, it's flowing, it's flowing good. And we'll go ahead and start working on this cage. Just give you a little something else to see here. I love my, I want more colors of Posca too. I know they come in a bunch of colors. I just haven't bought any yet, but I would love to have some other colors of Posca. But I do use the gold, the silver, and the black a lot. I used to use the white a lot until I got the, um, let me show you what I got, because these work so good for me. And I got them at Walmart, but you can order them online too. They come in like my mermaid tail pencil pouch. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I love it. Um, they come in a pack of three. You get a 10 point a eight and a five, I believe. There's the five. And then, where's the other one? An eight. And these are the Jelly Roll by Sakura. And I got them at Walmart. So here's the eight point. I use the eight the most. Uh, here's the five. It's a little bit smaller. And then the 10 is the bigger tip. And these come out so smooth every time. I haven't had a problem with these jelly rolls. So I really, really like these. You should definitely uh, look for these if you have a Walmart. I got them in just the, where the pins are. Come in this pack of three. And I love these. Uh, my white Posca works really well, but I have had a problem with it just being, even though I shake it for five years, I've had a problem with my Posca, white Posca being runny and not a good paint consistency for whatever reason, I don't know why. So, and these don't go, th oh, I say they don't go through. Why is that going through? Oh, that can be covered up on the back page. 
Why is it going through? It shouldn't be. This is paint based, not water based. So I don't know what's going on. <laughs> like, yeah, just a little bit, just a little. But when I do this page, that can be covered up. So yeah, that's why it's important to test your meat. See, this is being watery and that's going through. We're gonna have a problem if it keeps doing that. It's a good thing it's a color that can be covered up, so I'm not that worried about it. Did it go? Yeah, it went all the way around. Wow, okay, we might not be using this after all. I don't want the whole page to be like that. So, it's okay, I got something else I can use. Where's my gold? My gold gel pen. Is that in my pencil pouch? So you can see this is what happens. Um, I do have, yeah, it's in my pencil pouch. I do have my Uniball Signo Gold. So I think, gel pen so that's what I'm gonna use is that because I know that that shouldn't go through and it's practically the same color as that Posca there is a poor puppy out there just hollering poor baby it hollers all the time makes me sad okay we're gonna do the gel pen instead and hope that we get better um it doesn't go through so just bear with me a minute while i'm very careful yeah that didn't go through at all okay so scratch the posca <laughs> we will just go with this gel pen can you see it yeah and it's practically the same color so it's okay didn't like that um hmm sometimes the pastas go through sometimes they don't normally i don't ever have that problem with them but that one was uh had the water or whatever oil maybe i don't know it's supposed to be acrylic paint in those so it shouldn't i don't know maybe i have to mix it more i'm not sure i still like my pastas just that was kind of disappointing there <laughs> Now, some people might wait to do their gel pen work after they've done the water, which is probably the smart thing to do because you don't want to get your gel pen wet like when you use your watercolors. So I'll just be real careful when I use them because it'll smear the gel pen. So that's something to keep in mind. Hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. I haven't done a Kirby page and I don't know when. Uh, it's been a while. I love his books, but they do intimidate me quite a bit. I will, do have to say that I do get a little on the intimidated side. Because there's always just so much going on. But then they turn out really, really pretty when you're done. So sometimes you just kind of have to bite that bullet and do it, huh? This is actually my second copy of this book because my first copy I started to do the flamingos and something went wonky and it messed up my pages and I was like, mm. so uh, yeah, I, this is my reordered copy. I do that with books. If there's something that I mess up really bad, I just get another book because, ooh, these lines, I think that was supposed to go there. hope <laughs> they're kind of really hard to tell there so yeah I'm a silly goose and I reorder books if I mess up one little page or one little thing it doesn't go right I uh I reorder the whole book I've done that a few times 
but that's okay. Yeah, gel pen's fine. So luckily on this back page where the Posca went through, like he'll be brown and browns. And so that'll cover that up. If I ever decide to do that page, we don't, I don't even know if I'll do it, but you know, if I do, it can be fixed. <laughs> At least it wasn't some glaring color like uh, red or something that went through. That would have been hard to fix. What, what time are we at? 35 minutes? All right, that's fine, that's fine. What are y'all working in right now? What book are you coloring in? What are you coloring with? Are you diamond painting? What are you diamond painting? Are you doing some other type of craft? If so, let me know. I like to know these things. Oh, also, I wanna let you know that if you are new here, um, I have changed my channel up this year quite a bit. So it's not just coloring and diamond painting, which coloring and diamond painting is a big chunk of it. But I, um, well, I started doing vlogs a couple years ago, but I do vlogs, I do, um, different type of unboxing and videos like i do come with me to the dollar tree videos or whatever i've done one of them if you like those type of videos i do i subscribe to a snack box that i get once a month it's called munch pack i have a couple of videos up from opening the munch pack and trying out the snacks inside they're international snacks so i try those out um i should Actually, the 13th is when my new newest munch pack will be uh, sent out. So, yay! I'm going to actually open this one on camera this, this uh, time. I haven't the past few months because I've been so excited to get the snacks. I just jumped right in. But So, I'll be doing that probably this month. I canceled Ipsy, which was a makeup subscription. I just, I didn't find the value. It was too, I don't know. I thought it was too expensive for what you got didn't really care for a lot of the stuff inside so I canceled that uh, but there's a couple of ipsy unboxings or unbaggings here on the channel if you're into makeup and some get ready with me is like doing the makeup with what was in the ipsy bag so if you like that stuff they're on here as well so I just kind of do a variety channel a little bit of everything I don't I don't want to be stuck into just one or two things and that's that because I am more than a one-trick pony I like other things in this channel. I wanted it to be a variety of things and not just one or two things and that's it. Um, so this is just kind of, let's say it's a life channel. You know, just life and lifestyle and what I do. And I want to get really into vlogging a lot more. So where we might have quite a few videos. I love to watch vlogs. I watch them like all the time. So I like to watch vlogs and see what people are doing. And I just really enjoy that kind of stuff. Another sip of my drink here. <sighs> just really been thinking about the different things that I want to bring to the channel. And I hope it's received well. I know that a lot of people that subscribed to me at first subscribed just for coloring and then I know that maybe they didn't like the diamond painting, but that's okay because there's other people that subscribe for diamond painting. And then there, there are those of you, which you guys are the true rock stars, that watch every video I make and you guys are awesome. And I just love you guys. I am just overwhelmed with the support and the kindness and the friendships that I've made and you guys are great and I love you. Pretty soon, there'll be some giveaway stuff happening. There's some cool stuff that's going to be going on on the channel. And I'm not going to give it all away, but uh, yeah. I just want you guys to know to be look out for some fun things happening. A little bit more of a chill video. I don't have a whole lot to talk about because not a whole lot's went on. Uh, last week was nuts. Um, it has nothing to do with the election. I don't get into that stuff, but it had nothing to do with that. Um, 
but my poor Auntie Rhonda had to go to the hospital twice last week. Uh, she was really, really... Well, the first she has... We think, and the doctors think, that a lot of her super bad pain is from her not having her thyroid medicine because neither one of her thyroids work. So she's had a lot of swelling and a lot of pain. But last week she had had it so bad that she couldn't even get up out of the chair. So she ended up calling um, 911 out to see what in the world was going on. So I got dressed. Uh, she told me that she was at the hospital. So I got dressed, went down to ER. Um, they let me in, no problem, had my mask on. They checked her for COVID because she had a bit of a fever. Uh, she didn't have it, so thank goodness for that. Uh, they think that they did test, they did, um, they checked her for bone cancer. That come back good. All of her neurological tests come back good. So they just really think that it has a lot to do with um, her thyroid, not having her thyroid medicine. And well, she doesn't have insurance right now. We're trying to get her on Medicaid because they don't make enough for her to qualify for health insurance plans elsewhere. So she's just waiting on the paperwork for that so we can get that signed up for her. So, well, when she went the first day that she was at the hospital, see, Monday, okay, let's back up. Last Monday was my mom's birthday, so I took her out to... I took her out to eat. We went to uh, a bigger, a big city. We went to Yukon and I took her out to eat and we did some shopping. So that was fun. Got to spend time with my mom. Tuesday is the first time my Aunt T. Rhonda went to the hospital and that's when I went and got her. So uh, Tuesday, they ended up giving her a shot of Toradol for inflammation and a shot of morphine for pain because she was in so much pain. She had big alligator tears and it just broke my heart. So, uh, they got that, and then they let her go home. They gave her a prescription for Toradol and a prescription for um, morphine, which she was like, I don't think I'm going to take that unless I'm just really bad off because we, we don't like pain medicine around here. Um, so, I went and got those filled for her, and I got her home. I got her fed. She was able to eat, which is really good because she had been having a lot of nauseousness. Um, so she was eight. I got her in bed, got her warm, kissed her goodbye, come home. Fast forward to Wednesday. Um, Wednesday I had made a few videos, put them up, and my mom called me uh, that afternoon because I had texted my Aunt Rhonda. I said, good morning. I always let her know when I'm filming a video so she doesn't call in the middle of it because I always, we talk every day. Um, we call each other. Either she'll call me or I'll call her. But I let her know when I'm doing filming. So, you know, because she doesn't call and everything. So, I texted her and I said, good morning, beautiful. I'm making some videos today. I'll call you this afternoon. Once they're uploaded and all that. And she said, okay, love you. Well, uh, that I hadn't, time had gone by and my videos finally got uploaded and stuff. And I had ate some lunch. And then my mom called and she said, have you heard anything on Rhonda? And I was like, uh, what do you mean? I just texted her this morning. She goes, oh, she's out at the ER again. I said, what? <laughs> um, excuse me? Why did nobody let me know? So, um, I called Rhonda and she answered her phone. That same truck going down the road again. And I was like, what's going on, sweetheart? Well, I guess the, um, because they had told her to take one of them toward all pills every four hours, even after the shot. And so she did before she went to bed. Well, it ended up making her super sick. Like she got really sick, I guess, in the night. And then she was even more sick throwing up and everything. So she... Uh, didn't know what was going on because she was like really, really sick. So she called the ambulance back out and they took her in and they checked her uh, gallbladder, which they think might be part of the nauseousness and the sickness. And they did a, uh, they did something else. Hold on. I got to figure out where this goes because it's crazy. Okay. But she has a pretty good sized 
ulcer as well. So they gave her some medicine for that. Some, uh, some stuff that coats her stomach and some, some like, it's, it's like a pukey medicine that keeps you from feeling like, or keeps that nauseousness and vomiting away. So they gave her some of that and I went and picked that up for her. That stuff was expensive. That was expensive. I'm glad I have an HSA and was able to pick it up for her because otherwise that sick medicine was like a hundred and with good RX. Okay. It was $178. Without it, it would have been 200 and 200 and something doll. I was like, woo, are you sure? You better double check that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, I picked that up for her. Took it over to her. Asked her if she thought maybe she could eat a little something. She ate a couple bites, but she still wasn't feeling too good. Uh, Thursday, I went back because it was late in the day when she got home Wednesday. And she said, you don't need to come today. Because her husband went and picked her up from the hospital and stuff. So, um... I went Thursday to pick up her medicine and check on her. So yeah, last week was, it was craziness. It was just, it was nuts. So, and I was exhausted all week. I was gone almost every, every day, just about doing something. So, Shronda is feeling quite a bit better this week. I mean, she still has a little bit of nauseousness, but the medicine's helping. Um, I told us, I don't know what we're going to do when you run out of that one, because it does have refills, but it's a hundred and something dollars. So, hopefully she gets her papers in soon for Medicaid, so we can get her on some medical and get her to her a, a real doctor and things like that, so... Cause she needs she needs to be seen and get this stuff nipped in the bud get her fixed up again but I'm going to see her tomorrow we're gonna go have lunch and do some Christmas shopping because like I said Christmas is gonna be here really soon But that's all that went on uh, last week. So uh, this weekend, I think my husband and I are going to try when he gets off work on Saturday. Gonna go spend some time out in nature because I'm just really feeling some outdoorsy stuff. Like I want to go hiking and up and you know, just be out one with nature. I'm just really, really feeling that. Okay, we're gonna do the top of this cage. I love how it's turning out. Love the gold. I want to go to the Dollar Tree because I want to get some Christmas stuff, like decorations and stuff. I want one of their cute little, little tiny Christmas trees. I want to put it up in here in my computer room slash art room slash room. <laughs> it's just a computer room because my husband's computer's in here and mine too, and this is where I film. I don't think I'm going to be uh, using our other room as my art room like I had previously wanted. Uh, there's just there's too much to do in there, too much to fix. So what I think is we're going to end up doing is just using that room as a, a storage room because we don't have any storage in our house, like none. There's no place to put anything. So I think... That's just what we're going to end up doing. Yeah, see, that ain't going through at all. Which is fine, because we need storage. And I just, I don't want to mess with the... I'm trying to do these fiddly bits in here with this. Like that, I think. And then this is just like a little... Yeah, there. I like the cage. I think it turned out pretty. I'll probably do these fiddly bits down here with this gel pen, but I won't make you guys sit through that and watch that. <laughs> so, that looks nice. Okay, nice. Unicorns. Um, Actually, I think I might, let's do some of these pots. Let's do that. And then I think I'll end the video. 
because I'm getting hungry, even though it's just 10 o'clock, but I'm getting hungry. So let's go ahead and we'll do a couple of these pots. And I think I'm just gonna do them like your natural pot colors, like your terracottas, brownie reds. <coughs> Excuse me. Like the Spanish red, that looks like a good color. And then, uh, do I have another? Now I'm gonna put white, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This wine retino. I'm trying to see like my red, ready browns. Um, maybe I'll just do the want no. Let's do chocolate brown. No, hazelnut brown. Okay, I'm very indecisive. <laughs> hazelnut brown and uh, Spanish red here. Put them greens up here in my pencil buddy because we save those out. I like the gold cage and I might paint paint in the background black. I'm not sure yet. Not sure. Somebody is cooking something and it smells delicious. I'm just gonna make a pizza for lunch. A little Tony's Supreme pizza. Okay, let's zoom in. <laughs> Whoa! Zoom in on this pot here. Are we good? We're good, okay. And then just taking the hazelnut and going bloop, 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 bloop. And the little dark spots here. Love using these watercolor pencils and then just the Spanish red which it looks very lovely y'all I don't swatch out my colors so I'm just to let you know right now I am NOT a swatcher I don't like to swatch things I usually just color with it or if I want to know the color for sure I'll scribble it out before I use it but I am NOT a swatcher I wish that other brown was more ready, but that's okay. It still looks fine. I feel like my brush isn't very wet. It feels dry. That worked. See that? I like it. I like it. Now you can put heavier pressure on your pencil if you want that brown to be more prominent. Like that. You can put it more. You can lighten up your pressure if you want it to not be so dark. Snicky, quick girl. And then just that beautiful Spanish red. I love that color. Really pretty brick color that would be. If you had bricks, very pretty. And you see I just color over the brown and everything. That way it just kinda, I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of water out of my brush here because I think it needs just a little bit more. Yeah, that's better. That's better. You don't want it too juicy, but you don't want it real dry either. See how those colors just melt together? I love it. There's that truck again. Try to get it where I don't have too many harsh lines so you can go down in one direction and kind of clean up some of it. 
And like I said right here, if you lost some of that dark brown, and I did lose some of it up here, you can go back when it's dry and just color over that again and then blend it out. You can also, if you want, you can like take color off of the pencil itself like this. I don't normally like to do that. That's not something I'm a fan of, but you can do that and put it directly down if you want, but I don't like to do that, so I don't do that very often. We'll do these pots and these that's over on this side, and then I think we'll call it a day, my sparkle squad. I hope you guys are having a good day, a good week so far. Mine's actually been pretty calm this week, so it's been good. Everything's been going pretty good. Be sure uh, to check the description for a link for this book if you think you might want it, if you don't have it yet. I'll also have a link for these Arteza watercolor pencils because I love them. Absolutely love them. Um, and also there's other stuff down in that description if you want to check it out. There's ways that you can get a hold of me, ways that you can support the channel, wish lists, all of that mess is down there in that description. Be sure you check it all the way down to the bottom. Um, I put that in every video, so they're always there to see. And in every video, I link up everything that I'm using or that I showed you. And they're, unless it's a diamond painting that I got from Amazon, I mean elsewhere other than Amazon, everything is an Amazon affiliate link. I am affiliated. So that all that means is that if you use my links to purchase something, like let's say you want these watercolor pencils and you purchase them from my link, it doesn't do, it costs you anything extra, but I do get a small kickback. And once I get so much uh, from the links, I get an Amazon gift card and all of that just goes back into the channel. I buy books and supplies and stuff with it. So I do appreciate it if you use my Amazon links. That one's a little juicy. If you notice that your thing's a little juicy, you can just dab it like that with your paper towel and soak up some of that extra water. And it don't hurt it. So tips and tricks. So yes, I do appreciate it if you've been using my links, but they're all down there in that description. Be sure you always check that out. Oh, I also want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Miss Ann Siggers from A Colorful Life. She is joining in on my uh, Christmas color along, Jessica Sparkly Christmas 2020. That starts December 1st, and she is going to be co-hosting with me. So if you don't know Anne, and I don't know how you wouldn't know Anne, but if you don't know Anne, go check out A Colorful Life. Go check out her channel. Subscribe to Mama Fruit Bat. She's going to be co-hosting, like I said, with my color along, so she's going to be doing videos for that as well. And I am so excited. I cannot wait for that color along. I'm so excited to do it. I'm so red excited for Christmas, just in general. So I am ready. That one got a little juicy too. <laughs> so thank you, Miss Ann, for joining me. And I know that she sent a lot of you over. So I definitely want to thank her for that as well. Um, she introduced a lot of people to my channel. So thank you for everybody that come from Miss Anne and thank you for being here. And I am so excited to have you guys here. Really, truly I am. Thank you for everybody that stuck with me over the past four, almost five years now I've been doing YouTube. That's nuts. That is nuts. My goal, my goal hopefully is that I can get up to 10,000 subscribers. That would be amazing. I'd love to get 100,000, but I really don't think that's gonna happen. I really want the YouTube silver play button, and the only way you can get that is if you have 100,000 subscribers, and I don't see that happening, but you never know. Stranger things have happened, so that'd be really awesome if that happened. <laughs> it would be such a milestone for me. I'd be so excited.
since this is what I do, I would really, you know, I would like, that's a goal. That's a nice little goal, but I'd be happy with the 10,000. I am on, I am up to 3,400 and 10, I think, as of this morning. So that is a big jump because I had 3,350 just a few days ago. So that is a massive jump and I am super duper excited. So thank you guys for um, joining the Sparkle Squad. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. Sometimes you can scrub color out if you get it like outside the line, you can just kinda wiggle just clear water and it'll Take that away now that'll dry so it'll lighten up all right we got one two three more pots to do and then i'll let y'all go and do your thing and i'm gonna go fix me some food it is just 10 but i'm hungry <laughs> i've been waking up really hungry lately <sighs> go in there stop that so i'm just gonna do all of these pots at the same time that way we can just wet them all at once So I will say normally when I do a uh, watercolor pencil or ink tints or even uh, water coloring, I always just do a little section at a time, like color, paint, color, paint, because I don't want to color all of it and then go all over it with water because that really is going to saturate your page with water and I don't like to do that. So that's why you see me just do one section and then use water, one section, use water. That way it gives them time to dry in between. That's just how I do it. You can do it how you want. You can color this whole page with your pencils first if that's what you want. Nothing saying you can't. Remember, do whatever you want to do. Do what makes you happy, not what makes other people happy. I really like the way this is turning out so far. I'm enjoying. <coughs> oh, goodness, excuse me. I'm really enjoying coloring this page. I just really enjoying these watercolor pencils. Like, I love them. If you can, if you can afford a set, I would definitely recommend them. Okay, I'm just making sure nothing went through again, and it did not. There we have this so far. So let me stand up here. Oh, you probably didn't even see me color that top one, huh? Probably not, but there it is. <laughs> let me zoom out. There's what we have so far. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give it a big fat thumbs up. And if you are watching me for the first time and have not subscribed yet, please consider joining the Sparkle Squad. I would love to have you here. This is a great group of people. Y'all are very nice and very sweet. And if you haven't joined my coloring group on Facebook, there's a link in the description for that. Consider joining the Sparkle Squad over there. Um, you can post whatever you want. I uh, don't really, I'm not having too many rules these days. Just as long as you post what book and artist your picture is from when you post a picture. But otherwise, you want to wish people a good day, that's fine. See a joke that's funny, that's fine. Just nothing controversial and mean. That's a no-no. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so please hit that subscribe button if you haven't and hit the like button if you liked this video. If you didn't like it, I'm sorry. Um, what else? Oh, hit the bell so you can be notified when I upload new content. And there's a truck. No, that's uh, <laughs> another vehicle. Um, be sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I upload new videos because I do try to do at least one to two videos a week. Last week I did three, so that's pretty good. Pretty good. <coughs> Goodness, I got a dry throat again. Anyway, yes, remember, do all that stuff. Check out the description for all kinds of information. And I think that's about it. So I'm going to go. I'm going to fix me some food because my belly is yelling at me, telling me I need to eat. And I do. I'm hungry. I woke up at 2 o'clock this morning starving. And I'm like, I'm not getting out of bed to eat. So <laughs> I'm making it wait. 
So I hope you have a good rest of your week and a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next video. And remember, don't ever let anybody dull your sparkle. Goodbye, Sparkle Squad.